All right, Ryan Dale, so push Trent Beretta to the start ramp page. A tag team competitor, but we've seen him in great singles contests before. He picked up the win over Nick oh. Jackson a few months ago, one on one, and with a huge chance here. Let's slow down, Danielson. Let's see what Beretta can do. If you're used to being in a tag team, it doesn't matter how good you are. You set your single skills aren't quite as sharp sometimes. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, superplex. Superplex. Danielson brought back in the hard way. That man, that man come down hard. Big time landing right there. But who got the worst into that, huh? It's kind of even Stevens, Ricky, to your point. I get you. Brian Danielson is a professional wrestler with instincts. Do you see how he picks his shoulder? Doesn't matter how hard how hard he hits the ground, he instantly picks one shoulder. So it's harder for his opponent to pull him back down and pin him. And Mr. Regal, you spoke about the, the best friends and how little respect the Black Blackpool Combat Club has for them, but we don't have any respect for anybody. I mean, might admire certain qualities in people, but no respect. Oh. Well, both these men here are really just blows to blows, shots left and right. Might be going German the, suplex. The yeah, security release German suplex there by Trent Beretta. Danielson clutching the back of his neck now. That's a tough landing, but when you bridge and you arch back like that, in Trent's case, it affects your neck also. Trent. I mean, into the corner of the big back elbow. Trent likes to use the running knee strike just like tornado, Danielson. Yeah, but yeah, here is looking for the tornado DDT. Rolling elbow strike. And, oh no. Uh, Shoulder capture suplex. I've seen this before. Danielson. One, one two, two, no. Check this out. Off to kick out of that tight cradle right. right there. That's a super tight cradle, Mr. Rick. That shows you exactly how good Dragon Sleeper is. Yeah, no doubt. Go Dragon Sleeper right here. Dragon Sleeper, but he may, Danielson may be trying to con, to turn Trent over onto his stomach, yeah. putting even more backwards Look pressure the on the neck. He's got the chin turned to the sure. side there. He's not got it across the face. That's just a little nuance. Great Tatsumi Fujinami was uh, an expert yes. at that hold, as you guys yes. know. One of my first matches in Japan was against that great oh, man. I didn't know yes. that. I did. a tremendous competitor. I beat him, actually, with a regal stretch. There you go. I love it. Stretchable, baby. Yes. <laughs> Brian Danielson. Keeping the pressure on Trent Beretta. The cravat is applied. Driving those knees into the face. And remember, still to come tonight, our main event, Wheeler Yuta and John Moxley go one on one. Can Yuta earn the respect of the former AEW world champion? He's out. I think you're right. I'm redundant on this table, aren't I? With two great. <laughs> Ricky, speak up a bit, sunshine. Come on. Oh, Trent, <laughs> Trent look, yeah, looking for the guys. Oh, driver, strong zero, maybe from Trent. No. Uh, Dancer was up one. Two. Oh, there we go. Trent turns a momentum mm. against Danielson. Just a two count for both men. Watch out, Trent. Watch out. Danielson. Oh, oh he was looking for that running knee, but he missed. That's that, that veteran instinct right there of Beretta. And Trent once again looking for the slow swinging DDT. He plants Danielson. One, One two, two, no. And that would have been an upset, Mr. Regal. I got to tell you, I don't know if you were sweating on that one, but your man kicked out. I was a little. Just a little bit, right? That was impressive. I apologize if I'm getting a little quiet here. Now my, my, my adrenaline's flowing because I'm worried about my, my friend here. I have to give Trent credit. I love his tenacious fighting spirit that he has. Being a person who's also injured their neck, I understand how it is. When you even get one twinge, one, one tweak of it, you know? Trent, though. Oh, Ooh. big overhand shot to the side of the head of Danielson. I could have caught him on the air, not yeah. his equilibrium on it. You're right about that, and now Trent's in that uh -oh. high. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Wait a minute, Danielson. Oh, oh. oh that's gracious, man. Oh, yeah, man, Galaxy right there. You land on the, uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. skip it. Danielson headed up to the top oh, no. of Trent. Trent trying to, what the hell Trent, is trying this? to grip on. No. And now both men standing. It's dangerous here. On the top of Trent. Oh, oh, oh trip reverse. That was an awkward landing, too. What a landing. The back of the head of Danielson and the shoulder landed really hard. It's a great way to separate someone's shoulder. How the hell did Danielson let's take a look here, guys? Watch this landing. Yeah, that was a weird landing. That top turnbuckle, that little extra momentum allowed him to land on top of Danielson. And now Trent with the advantage. And this is so important. When you wrestle Danielson, He's usually two, three moves ahead of you, and Trent seemed to even that playing field a bit. Ooh. Trent fired in some hard elbow strikes with those middle kicks. Oh, all these things that you're saying about Trent are true, but the problem is you're on with a competitor, and that's Brian Danielson, who's just always a step ahead. 
always fighting more. Rolling elbow strikes now. Uh -oh, Trevor has a minute. Trevor's a step ahead that time. The half and half suplex throwing Danielson across the ring. Trent back. Ooh, close one. He's got it. Trent's got That's the win. It. One, Already two. Covers. They also kiss out. Well, that half and half was a big time rotation. I have to, I have to say that Trent should have bridged back there and put some weight on that far shoulder. If he would have done that, he might have had a chance there. You're not going to be able to pin Brian Danielson like that. The right shoulder of Danielson fired up off the canvas because Trent's weight was not distributed equally over his opponent's upper body. You see the intentions, bad intentions on the in the eyes of Trent Beretta. Another forearm shiver and another. Well, I guess I was wrong when I said earlier that I don't know if Trent could go pull for blow here and strike with Danielson. I was wrong. You know, Trent is a very heavy hitter in his own right. Certainly showing me that every single one of those strikes were right on the trap, and that uh -oh. affects your neck. Ooh, game over, man. You know, Mr. Regal, you, you have to be impressed with Trent's fighting spirit. Have yes. I said anything less, Mr. Stone? Not at no, all. Looking for a power driver? Very rhetorical. Golf style power driver here. The Busaiko knee and the Golf style power driver. Taking a page out of Minoru Suzuki's book, the man that Danielson beat with that Busaiko knee, but it looks like Danielson's not done yet. And again, as we pointed out, not to be redundant, but Beretta successfully recovered from neck surgery that sidelined him mostly for last year. But it may be time for Brian Danielson. This is when a tiger just plays with his prey. To kick in oh. the head. And then he strikes and he strikes. And he strikes until you're the gonna over. get your fucking kid. Up. Danielson, the bell lock. Oh, no, not oh, the neck. bell lock. He's always oh, wrenching the neck. Oh. Grab it there. Pretty good match. And Danielson hanging on. That's the little things. The little things I love. Here is your winner, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. Well, that was a hell of a matchup. Brian Danielson gets the win over Trent Beretta. Uh, pretty good match to start Rampage. And yeah. Moving on to the next one.